Hey guys, it's Viejo here, and it is the last week of February in 2024. Got a lot of projects going on here at the bench today. Um, hey, I got a piece of news uh, from Lee, uh, and this is about some new expanders that Lee is beginning to produce. Uh, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. If you follow my channel, you know that I've said many times that I have not been a fan of this Lee powder through expander dye, mostly because of the type of case mouth flare that it does. And it doesn't seem to work well with my cast bullets, which are a little bit oversized compared to a standard size plated or jacketed bullet. Um, and this die works fine with either of those two types of bullets. I prefer instead to use what we generically now refer to as an M style expander. That was Lyman's uh, designation for the type of expansion that they do right at the case mouth. It's a stepped expansion. Uh, Redding has a similar die. RCBS is now producing dies like that as, as well as Lyman. So uh, let's take a kind of a look at what I'm talking about here and why I don't like the current rendition of Lee's expander. If we go ahead and use the old style expander plug to expand a case, it works just fine for a plated round like this or a jacketed round. However, when I try to start this slightly larger bullet in there, it doesn't want to start very well. It'll sort of start, but it doesn't want to hold up there particularly straight. That's not too bad, but let me show you what's going to happen if I seat the bullet like that. So now when we go to seat this, even though it kind of looks like it's going to work, it's not in there very well, and it's hard to keep that straight. We often have to guide the bullet up into the seater like this to keep it straight. And then we end up with, let's zoom in here. We've got lead shaved up there. And we don't like that, okay? See that little fingernail of lead just above the case mouth? So that's no bueno, we don't like to do that. So in order to avoid shaving lead, we end up kind of over expanding the case mouth, giving what we often call a trumpet mouth or blunderbuss flare out at the top. And the bullet will start in there then, but it's in there sloppy. Okay, it doesn't want to stay put in there. You can kind of jam it down in there if you can get it straight. But uh, some other things can happen. That overexpanded case mouth can scrape on the inside of your uh, cedar die body. We don't want that to happen. Okay. And we have to work our case mouth more than we would like. And it just we tend to get a sloppy fit in there, and that bullet just doesn't want to stay straight as we guide it up into the mouth of our cedar die. So that's, you know, it's doable. You, you can make that work, okay? But it's not optimal. Here's the stem out of our Lee expander die. And you can see that we have a very abrupt break from the expander part into the part that's going to do any flaring and it's just really a, um, not a particularly nice easy flare that we're going to get there. Compare that to this. This is our Lyman M style die and we see that little ridge right there. That's going to create a step in the first uh, several thousandths of the case mouth, okay? And that's where our bullet is going to uh, set. It gives us a nice square seat all the way around the case for that bullet to start. 
Okay, so that's what we call the M style expander. When we use that stepped M style die, this happens to be a Lyman die, <clears throat> and use that to expand our case, we get a much more desirable start to our bullet that's in there nice and straight. Okay, it's not gonna fall out of there. Okay, that's more ideal. And we're not gonna scrape lead. All right, so I've, I've been avoiding using Lee's expander um, as it comes um, in a number of cases. Uh, I set up my tool heads either on the Lee Classic Turret Press or my Dillon 550 um, with uh, uh, pre-sized dies and then in station one, I put my expander and it might be the Redding or the RCPS or a Lyman die there and then use a, uh, a, a powder through uh, die that is just a charging die and it does no expansion in conjunction with my uh, powder measure you know for those progressive type presses well a couple of years ago now it may not have been quite that long but at least a year ago i read over on the high road forum uh, a thread by a fellow who was working with lee beta testing an m style expander for these Lee dies, and I didn't pay too much attention to it. He was, you know, just kind of saying, well, I'm beta testing and we're working on it and so forth with no projected date. Well, now it appears that Lee is in production with that style of expander. Then a couple of days ago, uh, our friend Livin Cincy over on uh, 76 High Boys forum mentioned that he had just seen a video somewhere else that somebody had actually received a die set with with that new expander in it so i thought oh boy you know this could be a a, a revolution for me and maybe i mean i've got all these other expander dies now but uh, so i called lee and i spoke to a very friendly uh, lady there named tammy she was really nice and pleasant easy to work with and i spent quite a bit of time on the phone with her and uh, she confirms she says yes we are uh, in production of those now we're rolling them out incrementally by calories they're not all done um, and she sent me a list of those calibers for which they have the new die uh, in place now okay and i talked with her further and i said hey uh, is there a different part number or anything like that and she said sadly no she said there's no way for you to tell by looking at the box or the part number uh, that will tell you whether it's the new style or not. She said, uh, if you go to uh, your retailer, they're not gonna know either by looking at the part number. She said, the uh, current stock of the old style just has to run out before uh, we can depend on the uh, new dies to all be um, in place out in our, at our retailers. And I said, well, how about if I order directly from Lee? And she said, yeah, you know, we kind of, not she didn't say discouraged but she said we would rather you not, you know buy from our uh online retailers or you know your local gun shop um but you can buy them from us and if you do you're going and if it's one of the calibers that's in production you're going to get that die um so before you run right out you know to brownells or midway or mid south or titan or any of those guys and start ordering up new dies you don't want to do that yet um because you may get you know, one that's, I'll say, new old stock, you know, older stock that's still got the original type uh, expander plug in it. So uh, let me show you the list that Tammy sent me. And uh, she sent me a PDF, and I just did a screenshot of it, but I'm going to put it up here and hold it for about 10 seconds. And then you can, uh, you know, freeze the um, video there if you want and take a good look at it. And the uh, numbers that you're going to see down the left side of the uh, of the list that I'm going to show you those are part numbers for just the plug not for the entire die okay it'll be just that part and they show a price of three bucks each um, however when you go look those numbers up what you see is a photograph of the old style um, plugs so <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so if you uh, looked through that list, you saw that it's mostly handgun dies at, at this point, but there were a couple rifle calibers there. Uh, you know, if it's something you want to jump on right away, I would suggest calling Lee uh, directly and making a phone order, um, or at least confirm that if you order just the plug by its part number, will you get, the, you know, the, the new style or not? I'm, I'm uncertain um, at this point about whether if you just buy the plug, um, whether you get the new one or to get the new one, do you have to buy the whole die? That I don't know yet. So you're on your own to check that out. Quick phone call to Lee would answer that question for you. All right, there you go. I just wanted to bring you that uh, piece of news. Uh, it's something to look forward to for sure. I think it's a good move on the part of Lee, and I'm glad to see they've done it. But uh, from the Viejo bench for now, that's all she wrote. <laughs>